Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here. Got a different one for you today. I'm at the Borough County SWAT training. A bunch of different departments here. Uh, David, who's been training SWAT for I don't know how long. Hopefully I'll do a mini interview with him later. I think this is his last SWAT class and he's been doing this, I think, 20, 30 years. So, a lot of different departments, as I said. This is one of their houses. Thank you. No live ammunition past this point, so give you a little bit of a look. See, not too much of their training house. They got all kinds of different rooms and uh, open rooms and cornered rooms and uh, hiding spots and pretty cool stuff. So, uh, you know, I shot and did my qual 20 for 20 uh, today at 15 yards, so I'm happy and. Um, not everyone called, but most did, and, um, you know, documenting and getting a little bit of training in. So, everyone, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and watch this whole edited video I will make. Thank you. Same time, don't under penetrate the room. Find that happy way. Find that happy meaning. Come on in. Come on in a little bit more. Half step one. Right there. Checking it with the shield, short, boom. You normally, I'll ride these doors. So, if I'm coming in, as far as I can go, so more than likely there's somebody behind me or something. So, now I'm going to have to move on. Check it. Oh, boom. All right, did y'all see that? And now I'm, I'm going to hold to this position right here. That kind of makes sense. You're still rotating, we're keeping everybody.
Hey guys, welcome to Wolfman Does Squat School Day 2. It's pretty hard. I'm only halfway through the day. i got to get back from lunch in a minute. And uh, doing all the group movement in the house. There's a guy who, you know, is used to being solo. Um, doing a lot of things kind of wrong. i got to learn to not pass the shield. i got to learn to... Uh, how to swing out at certain corners, um, go back to back better, and and things like that. It's not so easy. I mean, I understand logically some of the stuff, but you're hyper focused doing uh, you know doing structure room clearings and stuff when there's multiple rooms, multiple angles, multiple doors. Uh, it is not easy. So, so SWAT guys. Uh, yeah, they got it going on. You got to appreciate that. There is a lot to know and a lot of work. Um, so, and working solo is quite a bit different. And sometimes I, I think I'm squatting down and, and checking things that I think, you know, I'm not used to wearing armor. You know, I only very occasionally have, have worn armor for certain jobs. So I'm not used to being frontal and, you know, being the thing to soak up bullets for the guy behind you. And sometimes I think I'm kind of ducking low and stuff. And I don't think, I got to find out, I don't think... That's what I should be doing when you're a front man. I'm pretty comfortable at the back, but I have now gotten experience, uh, good uh, enough experience being at the front of a stack and things like that. So, anyway, guys, Dan the Wolfman does SWAT school. Going to continue. Time for some gas. Take a little bit. Oh, shit. Straight out. Don't trip. Straight out. No, don't wipe your eyes. Don't wipe your eyes. Do not wipe your eyes. Yeah. Get a little taste. Don't trip. All right, pull your mask off. Start flapping those arms. Come this way. Don't, don't rub your eyes. Don't the trip. Outfield. Break the seal of your mask. Angels in the outfield. Don't let your arms. Do not wipe your face. How do you know that one is not rubber Open your eyes. Angels in the outfield. Keep walking. Don't trip. Watch the metal. Keep walking. Flap the arm. There you go. Keep flapping. Do not wipe your face, guys. Angels in the outfield. Keep walking, don't watch your face, bro. Oh, Air <laughs> yourself out. Angels in the outfield. If you come back together, you're all going to get recontaminated. Ooh, end of SWAT day, day two, guys. It is hard, like I said at lunchtime. I haven't left yet, I'm about to drive off, and uh, things are difficult. And I did some munitions, we did a six man entry and a huge facility a lot of doors a lot of corners a lot of angles it's really difficult and it's difficult to learn to work um efficiently and cover each other with armor and stuff that i'm not so used to as opposed to working solo so um i, I got shot i got a wing shot in the uh, stomach i mean i don't know how bad it would have been um but i got hit uh as the behind the bunker while the bunker was bleeding out and I got hit with a long angle so I did catch one uh, that would have sucked and um, you know did so so did some good stuff too did some good stuff too and uh, you know had to find a couple perps so uh, doing some munitions was very very cool and uh, you, hopefully this video will help you appreciate 
it's adrenaline, it's tunnel vision, it's uh, piper focused and a long clearing, a long warehouse, a long house. Man, that's a lot of energy because just because of the hyper focus you have to be and uh, it's it's really difficult. Now imagine the real thing. You got people there with multiple warrants or a murder warrant and uh, you know, they're they're not going down without a fight a lot of them. So you got to execute perfectly to make it not a fire flight. Um, you got to execute and move perfectly so you don't get ambushed. So uh, hopefully you guys will appreciate everything that these people do when uh, the shit is really bad. You got to have someone to call. And that's just the way it is. All right. So I did take one today. Simulation round I was at an angle about 20 degrees to my left far. Uh, far room, uh, long angle, and it probably went there. Now, I don't know if that would have gotten my liver or not, but that's probably not a good day. So you can kind of tell by the circle and the way it feels. Yeah, this was, this was the angle. So, yeah, I took one today.